Consignment of bad maize imported from Mozambique in November 2017 will be destroyed by burning in a process expected to take at least three weeks. Ten containers of the grain that was unfit for human consumption were transported to the Bamburi cement kiln for destruction. Now, the owner had planned to sneak the over 201 containers into the market by selling it to the local millers at a throwaway price. Kevin Mutai has more. Ten lorries ferrying some of the containers with bags of bad maize from a container freight station belonging to Consul Base Limited in Changamwe were escorted under tight security to Bambori cement for the destruction of the grain. The 201 containers that were lying at the CFS station contain tons of bad maize imported into the country from Mozambique through the port of Mombasa in 2017. The consignment, worth millions of shillings, had been imported by a South African company, Mahindra and & Mahindra, and will be destroyed by burning. Our capacity, we can do at least one container per day, but that depends on the performance of the kiln, which can increase to more than one container. The 40 feet containers, each carrying hundreds of rotten maize, were nabbed by detectives from the Special Crimes Prevention Unit when the owner was allegedly planning to sneak it to the market. The Kenya Bureau of Standards tested the samples of the grain and revealed that the product tested positive for aflatoxin. It had been rejected and declared unfit for human consumption and the owners were directed to destroy the consignment. It was tested by our organization and it failed to comply with the KSES 2. It failed in aflatoxin. Uh, heavily infested with pests, rotten, uh, smelly, uh, discolored. NTV last year reported on the investigations uncovered by detectives and discovered a chain of farms both in the country and in Mozambique that colluded to import and store the maize for more than a year. Now the grain will be destroyed in a process expected to take at least three weeks and the owner of the consignment will cover the costs. We expect the remainder of 191 containers also to follow up. Maybe in the next 20 days, like it has been said by my colleague, we expect that destruction to be complete and then we'll be through with this activity. The owner of the maze had been negotiating with millers to buy the grain at a throwaway price. Kevin Mutai, NTV, Mombasa.